this video, we're taking out the most satisfying skibbity toilet clay builds on the internet. Are you ready? Let's go! So this is what we're going to be making, guys. The Titan Speakerman. And notice how it all starts with some, well, Russian text first, but it all starts with some wires and aluminium foil, which is actually used to create the shape of the body. And what a good looking body it is. And this lets the uh, clay, or play-doh if you use play-doh, stick in its formation. So that you can make it into different poses and a whole bunch of different things. Oh, what are they adding? Oh, th this is how they add the wires in there. Oh, that is cool. How satisfying. Dang. And I also, I always love looking for like the fingerprint marks on it. Because you can all, oh, that is cool. They're making, a, they're making it into a little bowl type thing. But like you can always see the fingerprint marks on the clay. It's so satisfying to look at. And look, they're making the speakers. Oh, that's cool. Dude, how realistic do you think this Titan Speakerman's going to look like? I think he's going to look super realistic. Like, look at that. Even the speakers go inwards. They've got full-on 3D-ness already. Wow, that is so cool, guys. Look, you can see the pen just pressing it in as well. That is sick. Guys, I'm so jealous. Because, like, this is why I sort of prefer clay over drawing. Because with drawing, you have to shade it and you have to make it look like it's 3D. But then with actual clay, it is 3D. And so you don't have to shade it because it's already shaded from the light. And you just gotta, like, push it in. You just push in the red and you push in the, the little dots. <gasps> oh, speaking of dots, look at that. That's his eyeball. And that's his little blue speaker part. This is so satisfying to watch. Dude, which one is your favorite of all the Titans in Skibbity Toilet? Is it the Titan Speakerman, the Titan Cameraman, or the Titan TV Man? Mine's personally the Titan Cameraman because, you know, he's he's very, like, he, he's the most basic but, like, super cool. Like, he doesn't need all this fancy weaponry or fancy teleportation powers. He's just got himself and a gigantic hammer and a big old blue beam attack with his fire to absolutely destroy anything, and also wielding a hammer would be so fun. But the Titan Speakerman's cool too. Although everyone sees him as the weakest of the Titans. Oh, look at that. That's how they give the shirt sleeve effect. Everyone sees him as the weakest of the Titans because he got infected early on. But he's actually still quite strong. But I kind of do agree that he's the weakest of the Titans. Because, I mean, he kept losing against the Titan Cinema Man and the Titan's Cameraman, and then he needed D-Man Toilet's help each time. But he's still dang good, right? He's still incredible. But also, the cameraman has a shield that we just found in one of the latest episodes. Remember the shield that he uses and he tries to defend himself from the skibbity toilets that, uh, after the trap? Oh, that looks like such a cool cannon, by the way. Can we look at this cannon? Oh, look at that. That cannon is beautiful. Oh, that's his jetpack. Wow, that's even cooler. Dude, the detail on this is incredible. Is that his miss? That's got to be his cannon, right? That's definitely his arm cannon. Dude, think about how much work alone goes into that arm cannon. That is so cool. Wow! They even put in the little dot there. Yeah, those are definitely the arm cannons. And it looks like they've got tubes added to them. And they stick right into the... Ooh, ooh, that would be painful. It's a good thing it's just made out of clay, everyone. It's not actually shoving uh, really big things, like sticking it straight into his arm. I hope it's not like how he was made in the Skibbity Toilet. I almost said in real life. Dude, imagine if Skibbity Toilet was in real life, though. How cool would that be? I think my mum would freak out. Oh, this is the infected Titan Speakerman. Oh! Yo, that is so cool. Oh, that is sick. Dude! That one looks so much better than the OG. This is the, like, big version. They made this so much bigger than the OG one. Look at that. That guy is so cool. Dang. Okay, what about this? <gasps> what? We're making a flying buzzsaw, Skibbity? Dude, how do we even make that? How do we keep it in? Because they're not using any, like... Oh, they are using wires, I see. Oh, wow. Look, they're cutting it. I gotta be honest. I gotta tell you a funny little story. So, I got this packaging... 
for um toilet cleaner it's meant to be this thing which you drop into the top of the toilet like not the actual toilet bowl but when you open up the like the behind the, the like very back of the toilet you can actually like there's like a little bit with little water in there and you're meant to drop cleaning products into that because it stays in there but i misread it and oh by the way look at the look at that that is so satisfying look at those blades anyway i misread it and i thought you had to drop it into the toilet bowl as any normal person would reasonably think and so that's what i did i popped it into the toilet bowl and then i flushed and whoop it just completely disappeared and i was like okay that's my job done and then it turns out i was meant to put it in the back of the toilet and yeah i, I, I basically wasted an entire uh, toilet cleaner so if so if they say put it in the back of the toilet i forgot what it's called it's got a very weird name to it it's like the 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 clavet the cylinder or something the 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 part if there's a weird name to do with a toilet it's the back part of the toilet and put it in there otherwise you'll embarrass yourself in front of people that but that was just a story from blocky's daily life don't be like blocky be smarter <laughs> okay oh here comes the toilet head dude look at how they make a skibbity toilet out of clay that is so cool that is amazing and also kind of creepy imagine a toilet that has no eyes and just uh, hair and eyebrows oh look at the nostrils oh that is so gross dude that is so so gross they could easily make skibbity toilet into like an actual scary horror series is that a speaker I don't remember. I think he does. I think he does have a speaker, right? Or is that like a? I forgot what. I forgot where this goes on the uh, flying buzzsaw toilet. I remember it does go somewhere, but oh, is that his? Eye? Is that meant for his eyes? Dude, I forgot. Guys, can you tell me where this goes? What do you guys think? Oh, it was his eyes. Oh, I totally called it, but I also forgot it at the same time, so I don't know if it counts. This looks so good, though, dude. This is incredible. Look at that. And then they're also polishing him? I think that hardens the clay. Wow! That is so dang cool! Oh, look at that! I love that! This is amazing, guys! Smash like and subscribe if you are really enjoying these clay builds. Oh, but we're not done yet because we are making the Toxic Skull Skibbity Toilet right now. How are you going to make the Toxic Skull Skibbity Toilet? That is going to be insane. But also really, really cool. Because remember, the Toxic Skull is basically straight up a skeleton. How do you convert a skeleton into clay? Oh, look at that. That is... Ugh. Oh, that's yucky. And also, notice how they don't even need to paint these skibbity toilets. They don't add in any painting. They just do it all with clay. Oh. Ooh, that is satisfying. That's the barrel, right? Pretty sure that's one of the Toxic Barrels on him. Ew. Ew, that is so gross. That appears to be how they add the rust to it. Oh, that is sick. It's amazing how you can get those shades of, like, slightly off-looking gooey, ooey colors. Oh, look at that bar- Ew, gross. Dude, this skibbity toilet is disgusting. Oh, and they- Oh, we got the little exclamation mark on there. Oh, oh the toxic radioactive symbol. Ooh. Dude, this is gonna look incredible. That is going to look so cool. Look at that. They're sticking the main wire into the base, and then they're twisting it. So what the twisting it does is it means that you've got more of the base supported in there. Because if you just cut it, then it could just easily slide off if it was upside down. But if you twist it sideways, it won't slide off if it's upside down. Oh, here we go. This is going to be the spooky skull. Oh, wow. That's really smart how they make the shape of that skull. That's actually really smart. Ooh, yuck. Ew, we're carving out big chunks. Oh, that's gonna get gross. Guys, this is about to get real gross. Oh, wee. Oh, here come the eye eye holes. I don't, I don't even know what to call them. The eye sockets and the nose sockets. Ew, gross. He's looking like Voldemort right now. But now he's looking like the skeleton that he's meant to be. This is actually perfect for Halloween as well, guys. This is the perfect Halloween trick-or-treat clay thing to make. Like, imagine just putting this on your windowsill. Ooh, that would be cool. And, ooh, oh, you were getting the singular eye in there. Oh, that's so creepy. And it, what, is that going to be his neck? What is this? Ew. What is this part going to be, guys? What do you think? 
Ooh. Oh, is that? Oh, it's his jaw! Oh, I see. Very interesting. Huh. And then his, like, teeth. Guys, it takes some skill to be able to do art this good. Like, look at this. Look at this skelly boy. And look at that, he's getting, he's getting a moustache as well. <laughs> oh, what a delicious moustache! He's got peanut butter all over his mouth! He just uh, reached his hand into the peanut butter jar, and he was like, mm-mm, peanut butter, delicious! But now, I'm pretty sure there was something green to do with this guy. Oh, that thing's scary. What, what it, oh, this is a metal armor plating, I think. Because I remember he had metal armor plating around him. I don't know why he'd need it, because he's literally just a skull, and bone is rear is a very good armor. It's pretty good. Not as good as metal, but metal's very good as well. But I mean, bone's still great. But hey, he's got like a crown. Maybe that's his crown. Ugh, that looks weird. Ugh. This guy needs better fashion choices. Although if I were a skeleton, I probably wouldn't need to worry much about fashion. Although maybe that's why I should worry about fashion if I was a skeleton. Because if I was a skeleton, no one would expect a very fancy skeleton. It's like Jack Skellington from The Night Before Christmas. Or The Nightmare Before Christmas, not The Night Before Christmas. He, he wears fancy clothing. Everyone likes him. So if I were a skeleton, that's what I'd do. I wouldn't wear this stuff. That stuff's just creepy. It would scare everyone away. And I wouldn't want to scare everyone away. I want to be friends with people still. Anyway, wow, but still, like, this is incredible. Look at that! That is so cool! Dude, I think the only weird thing is the peanut butter around his mouth. <laughs> I don't remember that being in the original acid skeleton, but hey, I think it looks awesome. What about the, the Titan TV woman? What? Hey, there's Freddy for Rockstar Freddy in the background. Dude, how are we gonna make the Titan TV woman? There's a lot of weird stuff happening here. Ooh. Ooh. This is all the stuff we need. How are we going to convert this into the Titan TV woman? And what is the Titan TV woman going to look like? Hmm. Let's see. We're gluing? Oh, this- Oh, we're make. Oh, we're actually making her out of straight-up cardboard for this one. Oh, this is the city in the background, I think. Here we go. This is the start of the Titan TV woman! Oh, dang. This is gonna look good. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the city that's in the background here. Ooh, yeah. That is good. That's the road, absolutely. Definitely gonna be the background. And, whoa, what is this? A building! Woo! Wow, dude, look at that! So they made the background. It looks like a casual park. That looks sick. And now we're making the actual Titan TV woman. So look at that. That's a very skin-colored base right there. That's a torso. That's what we call it in science. The torso is like, you know, the chest and the stomach combined. Ooh, that is weird. We're using a lot of wires for this one, everybody. Okay, we got the legs. We got some meaty legs. And it looks like we're going to be adding clothes on top of her because the legs are black, but the torso is actually skin-colored. Ah... We gotta make sure that it's all smooth, like we want normally. Oh, what is that meant to be? What is that? Oh, that's strange. Maybe that's meant to be like the undershirt. Oh, and this is gonna be the overshirt. Oh, is the Titan TV woman gonna be like blue themed? This is interesting. I'm really curious to see what this looks like. And then they're gonna, I'm guessing, cut the bottom off. Yeah. So that it looks more like a t-shirt or a shirt or a suit. I don't even know what it's gonna look like. Because I've never even seen the Titan TV woman before. Imagine if they added the Titan TV woman to Skibbity Toilet. I'm calling it right now. If they added a Titan TV woman, I called it in this episode. Come back here and put down below I called it. Do you guys have any predictions for Skibbity Toilet though? Because literally anything could be happening in Skibbity Toilet. And we got, we're going to find out. Ooh, look at that. That is cool. Dang. We're fast forwarding. Ooh, leg? Is that gonna be the feet? Oh yeah, those are the boots. Those are the boots. The boot delicious boots. Wow. And we got the ankle straps. Dude, th what is this gonna look like? Is that gonna be the, the, okay, that's the central bit. That's the central section of the Titan TV woman. Ooh. 
Dang. Look at that buff body. That is so... Are they going to have like a six pack? I think they're going to have a six pack. I think they already have a six pack. I wish Blocky had a six pack. I would love to have a six pack. That would be great. Maybe if I was a Titan, a Titan TV man, then I'd be able to. Oh, oh, look at that. Whoa, we're placing them straight in the city. Dang. Okay, this is it. I think this is going to be the head, guys. I think we're getting the head. Oh, no, that's a suit. Oh, this looks so cool. Wow. Dude, this looks sick. Oh, my goodness. Dude. This is going to look incredible when it's done. You got the feet, you got the torso. I think these are going to be the arms, and dude, I cannot wait to see the head. The head is absolutely going to make this. This creation, this beauty, this marvelous wonder. It's going to be amazing. He's waving. Hello! He's holding onto a building. Or she's holding onto a building, I should say. She's like, I need support! Help me! Where are my camera TV men? Oh, look at those little fingies. Oh, that's oh those those fingers are kind of scary. They look sharp. I th I think this was like a mutant TV woman, but I think that's just the how clay works. That's just the nature of the clay. Oh, we got two little TV squares. What are these gonna do? I think they're gonna be the TV on her shoulders, right? Or oh, the speakers on her shoulders. I see, I see the shoulder speakers. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing to my TV woman? Oh. Dang, that is cool. Dude, nobody is going to be able to attack her. With the power of the speakers. Because remember, speakers are one of the most powerful weapons in Skibbity Toilet. Along with TV screens. TV screens are probably the most powerful. Because the Skibbity Toilets need glasses. And glasses can be broken by sound. Oh, here we are. Here we go, guys. That's the, that's the head! That's the head of the TV woman! Ooh! Then what, are we adding a tie on here? Oh, wait! We got this, we got the, um, this is gonna be the speakers, right? We're gonna add the speakers on top and it's gonna be a little, oh, that is sick. That is so cool. Dude, that is so awesome! And what's this gonna be? Wait, tentacles? She gonna have tentacles coming out? What? Oh, they're gonna be- Oh! They're gonna be TV monitors! I see! Look at this! Skadoosh! Wow! Skadoosh! That is so cool. That is legitimately awesome, guys. Wow! Smash like and subscribe if you enjoy these, and I'll catch you in the next video! Blocky!